Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is the reading for my sexy, delicious looking Capricorns. The Capricorns that are taking flights, not feelings. What is it? What actually the saying is catching flights, not feelings. I'm talking to those Capricorns. Hey, boo. Now let's see what's going on in your life, behind the scenes, and in front of your face. Let's get straight to it. Yahweh, I come to you in prayer, asking that you open up my third eye all my eyes even the one maybe not <laughs> anyway open it up open up the portal for me to see so that i can see what's going on for capricorn and i can expose it also any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw me off put them back in here where they belong thank you Ashe. love and light abundance and protection love and light abundance and protection love and light abundance and protection Y'all, guess who birthday tomorrow? Yes, yeah, me. Guess who birthday tomorrow? Yes, yeah, me. Yep. Guess who birthday tomorrow? Yes, yeah, me. Uh. Yes, me. Uh. Yes, yeah, me. Uh. So I'm excited. I don't know. Ah, I'm turning 27. So almost, almost dirty 30. But we're not there yet. But let's get straight into the reading because it's not all about me. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get some clarification going. Okay. <laughs> All right. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know? Mm. Somebody lying to you about their finances, Capricorn. Somebody lying to you about how broke they really are or how stable that they really are. Somebody is spending their last just to get a little piece of from you somebody's spending their last just to hang around you somebody be spending their last just to come just to come across as somebody who has a lot just to look like somebody worth your time mm. be careful or somebody's lying about um their finances because they want to seem like they're doing better than they was when they were with you they're just trying to save face and the truth is paycheck to paycheck cup of noodles and water for breakfast lunch and dinner mm. i gotta show y'all something so y'all like my socks <laughs> i know right i decided to you know spice it up you know show y'all a little something fun. you know since y'all don't know too much about my personal life but just by how I dress, guess who, guess, guess, guess what I like? A little whips and chains, you know, you know. Anyway, this person who's broke as hell, broke as a joke, but still be trying to smoke. This person was spending their last on weed too. And liquor. And food, which is noodles or McDonald's. And McDonald's ain't even cheap no more, but it's the cheapest that you can get out here. Or Taco Bell person broke anyway they're trying to manifest you back in your life but you telling them uh-uh no thank you no thank you <laughs> mm. po baby po honey bun this person's a gemini libra or an aquarius what the hell no film <laughs> what does capricorn need to know and be aware of like I said, this person is going through withdrawals when it comes to you. This person, Capricorn, you sexy just like me. Sex appeal on 1,000. Sex game on 20 million. So, of course, of course they're going through withdrawal without you. But you know what else is going through withdrawal? Their bank account. Their bank account. They're going through withdrawal over you and their bank account. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. What else is Capricorn need to know and be aware of? <laughs> what else is Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What else? But you moved on from this person. But this person has a sick obsession with you. And they will be back. They will be reaching out to you. Be careful when it comes to your car. Somebody may be trying to tag your car or do things to your car just out of spite or you need to get your car looked at get you some new tires get you some oil change because it's getting even colder baby we have hit winter and you don't want to be slipping and sliding 
because you chose not to get no ties. Also, Capricorn, you need to be work. You need to be focusing on saving your money instead of spending your money because I'm not saying you broke, cause you're not. But you're gonna end up being broke if you do not start spending your money wisely. Also, start focusing more on your health. If you're drinking a lot, stop it. If you're smoking a lot, stop it. If you're eating unhealthy, stop it, my love. You need to be here on earth long enough to even get married, have kids if you want it. Or shit, meet me when I have a meet and greet. I want y'all happy, healthy, and wealthy. Not busted, dusty, and damn near on your last leg. Okay? Also, you may be dating somebody new. I feel like somebody's going to be going out on a date this weekend or if your birthday is anywhere close to mine, you may be spending a little time with your booski. Anyway, be aware of this liar who wants to come back into your life, but I already know you're going to tell them no. You know what you deserve. You know you know your worth now. You're standing, in, you're standing on it. If you're coming like this and this or you're doing this and this or I don't want you, I don't want you. But the person that you are currently dealing with right now or will be dealing with in the future is going to commit. This person is not going to play no games with you. Point blank, period. And that's what you should know. Because you're a catch. Oh, baby, you the whole fish fry. Yeah. But like I said, it's a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius who really, really, really is going through withdrawal without you. I'm telling you the truth. And you know this. You know your exes be going through. You know your exes be going through when you leave. They may not be reaching out. Most of y'all be changing y'all number before they even can reach out, or blocking them before they even can reach out, or send a, a or send a damn text message. But you should know why you out there catching flights and not feelings. They stealing their feelings over you. <clears throat> Literally, stealing their feelings over you, and you have long forgotten about these people long stop caring about these people starting manifesting new things this person is literally trying to manifest you back just so they can trap you and i'm talking to you capricorn this person is hoping that you open up your heart again to them but you have let go so what they doing stalking you watching you this may be a cancer scorpio or a pisces as well who is going to be reaching out to you really soon but baby they struggling struggling probably need a place to stay but they not single and they one of these signs are single so it's what it be the same shit different day with these folks some of these folks are going through relationship problems where they single that they, they they're not even i wouldn't say single they may have other options like you know little flings and stuff most of them are getting a divorce most of them are breaking up with a person who has treated who was treating them like a piggy bank. That's why they broke. And that's the truth, baby. That's the truth. And when it comes to an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius, know that they only want to be back in your life just to have a little fun in the bedroom. Because they going through withdrawals. And they're a narcissist and they like and they like the same sex on the low low. If they're not openly gay or bi. Or lesbian. They like to do it on a sneak tip. This fire sign. This air sign. This water sign. So don't get nobody from the past. No chance Capricorn. Angel number eight on the clock. You got abundance coming in your life. An abundance of everything that you've ever wanted. Love, finances, career choices. You catching flights. We've been hearing planes all through this reading. Catching flights not feelings unless the feelings are neutral. Period. Okay, let me say that again. See, Capricorn, you're catching flights, not feelings, unless the feelings are mutual. Two peas in a pod type mutual. Nothing else, nothing less. Let's get the hidden truth. This person who is, I would say people, because there's so many signs popping out in your reading, Capricorn, it's people. People. Literally, you'd be like, people, people you've long forgotten about, even new people that you have dismissed, withdrawals, 
Yeah, baby. Anyway, they have weird obsessions with you. Like they watch you and it makes them feel good. Like you, you give people endorphin highs just by watching you. But you, she, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna toot your horn for you. Boop, 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 boop. You the shit. Cause now, look at this. It's twice. Fiending. Fiending over you. But they know that they're no good for you. They know that you have long left them behind in the dust. Sitting there thinking that, dang, I wish things could be different. Why can't Capricorn open up their heart to me again? Maybe if I, you know, maybe if I reach out or something or do something grand and special, spend all my last on something, that if they can impress them, maybe they'll let me back. Maybe if I lie about what I got going on and, and what I'm doing, maybe they'll set me back. When you let go and they need to let you go. But they can't because they continue to think about you. Why they can't stop thinking about you? It's because everything reminds them of you. Especially something sexy. Facts. Every nasty thought popping their head about you. When they in the bed with somebody else, think, they think about you. That must be a hard life to try to get over somebody else. Date somebody new, and as soon as you close your eyes, you be thinking about your last boo. Karma stuck in the loop with you in it. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Literally, they going through karma stuck in a loop with you in it. Memories of you, because you ain't there. Just the memory. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. Somebody who is codependent on your energy, codependent on your sexual energy, codependent on you. Confirmation is going to be reaching out to you really soon, trying to tell you whatever you want to hear. Not even just whatever you want to hear. They're just going to expose how they feel. Just, they're going to reach out to you. Call you, text you, pop up, show up, show out. This person is hoping for another chance with you. But they either got kids that you don't know about or know about. And they got somebody who is still holding on to them that is kind of like a child because they got to take care of this person financially. Mm. You don't want none of that. They ain't got no money on it. And with no money on it, it ain't no fun young. Okay. Can I get an amen? Let's see. Current love for Capricorn. Current love for Capricorn. Current love for Capricorn. Current love. Whoa. Current love for Capricorn. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. That little card, and we seen that it's from Make an Effort. This person do backflips for you. It's your world. They just living in it, baby. Ah, oh. mm. mm -mm -mm. love that type of person. This person is not unrequited. That they're not one sided. They'll do a backflip for you. What you say go. If you say jump, they gonna jump. And that's what you're currently dealing with. Not nobody deceptive. Somebody fine. It's all wine. Like, ooh, aged wine. They may be a little older than you or younger than you. This person is very cold dependent on you. So, like, very, like, clinky, cutesy, you know, adorable. All about you. This person may be spiritual as well. But this is somebody that you knew in a past life. You released your ex and it brought somebody in who is safe to love and safe to trust. Somebody who enjoys having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you because they want to know you on a deeper level, on a deep level. Because they know Capricorn, you're like an onion. You have layers to you. Angel number 14. You have layers. And they are loving every layer that they unfold. Mm, 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 mm. If you know what I mean. It's not just that, but <laughs> it's everything. It's, it's everything. That's just the icing on the cake. I'm just saying. This person is very flirtatious with you. You're very flirtatious with them. And they like that about you. You keep you keep them. You set these people, not just these people. That, that too, but we're talking about this person. You set this person's heart, body, mind, soul on fire. Mm. And this person plans on marrying you in the future. But right now, they're getting to know you and they're taking their time. For a lot of you all... They haven't even popped the question of being asking you to be their girlfriend or their boyfriend yet. And y'all are just getting to know each other, dating. 
you know, falling in love. The chemistry is literally on top 10. Top 10. And this is your soulmate. Somebody that you deserve. You pray for. Literally, this person was divinely guided to you and divinely sent to you because they're your person. You all found each other again in another life. They may not be rich, but they ain't broke. And they don't mind building or putting in the work to even be able to afford a happy, prosperous life. This is somebody who you can trust. So there are no red flags. So don't start overthinking Capricorn. Don't do it. Don't do it. You have literally called in your soulmate. This is your true love. A lot of you all are gonna try to are gonna reconcile with this person from the past because there is reconciliation and second chance. But my idea and my advice is cut the cut the cord, close the door, and run. Mm -mm. We only talking to new people, okay? New energies, please. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me get some messages for the singles. New love for Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. Capricorn singles. New love for Capricorn singles. Oh, new love for Capricorn singles. Capricorn singles. Hey, okay. First of all, the ex need to let go. You no longer want un unrequited love. You want somebody who's going to put in the effort. Somebody that you could brag about. Somebody who's romantic, healed, and the one. Until you get there, you'll be single. You only want somebody you can trust. Somebody who ain't broke, busted, and disgusting. Somebody that you pray for. A soulmate. And just know that you will be getting to know somebody who's all of those things in the future. The chemistry will be immaculate. But the, all the while, your exes will still be trying to prowl. I'm trying to tell you, they don't leave you alone. They won't ever leave you alone. Your exes be the type of exes who still will watch you 10 years from now. Still be searching up your name 10 years from now. I'm trying to tell you. But anyway, this person that you're going to meet in the future, like I said, you're going to end up married. Capricorn, you just need to go ahead and just understand that this is, you have entered the happy wife, happy husband, happy life. This is your season of literally having a ring on it. A lot of Capricorns are really are about to be taken off the market. And a lot of people, a lot of exes of y'all are going to go through it. I feel really bad for a lot of other signs because they're going to be, pro they're probably with your ex right now. And wondering why they can't seem to get this person to commit or why is it seem like this person's mind is always somewhere else. It's because you catching flights and they're still catching feelings. They still got feelings. But anyway, this person is going to make you really happy. It's going to be a lot of passion. So just know what is owed to you and what is coming to you is a, a love of a lifetime. And it's going to be safe to love this person. You're going to be able to trust this person. Put no, like This person is going to put nothing above you. Nothing above you. This person is going to want to give you everything. And if you're currently dealing with this person, they're so sweet. They'll give you their last. They want to see you have. Even if they don't have it, they're going to give you their last. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. If you like to eat, this person this person likes to buy you food. Oh. Mm. All right, my period. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for my Capricorns. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Be aware of somebody who once broke your heart in the, in the past. Trying to come back just to be able to, you know, have a little fun with you in the bed. And then leave again and break your heart. This person is very slick with their tongue. So they know exactly what to say to get you back. This person may also lie about their finances. So that you feel like they have, you know, bossed up when they really ain't bossed up shit. This person only thinks with their dick and their coochie. Nothing else. They're not a real friend. And they really want to knock your crown off. They really do. They really want to keep you stuck. Also be careful of people who did who come into your life as a friend. They may not even truly be your friend. You're being told to continue to work hard because your hard work is going to get you everything that you ask for. 
and just be aware of people trying to betray you people talking shit up behind your back because they see what you're becoming also be careful when it comes to over drinking and over you know indulging in drugs but it will lead to health problems okay you need to be healthy when you go down this road to success just saying be aware of somebody trying to come back in trying to make it seem like they're a good a good person change person they're not they're still the energy vampire that they were <laughs> and you're getting everything that you asked for be aware of people who try to try to lie to you use your intuition use your intuition when people talk to you come back to you come to you because a lot of people from your past want to come back and, and make you an option they want to knock you down bring you down a notch because they can't come on this journey with you because you look damn good you smell damn good and baby you're doing damn good you're a leader you're probably leading the pack of people. If you're so, if you're on social media, you got influence. If you're in a in a regular nine to five, you're making good money. If you're working for yourself, your business is doing damn good. It's growing, and people see that. Meanwhile, they don't got nothing, and they plotting on how they can come back and see how they can basically ruin everything for you. Or benefit off of what you got going on. Plus, people from the past are already involved in other in other things. It may not be a relationship, but it's somebody always in the background. They will always put somebody in the mix of y'all. You can't trust nobody from the past. Be aware of people coming into your life who are new people who are going to be trying to pull the rule over your eyes. But honestly, I don't even feel that. New people coming in your life, Capricorn, it's only going to be people that want something for real the past is the people who was on their demon time shit that's who you need to worry about but you need to keep your intuition and your eyes open for new people because don't be nobody fool always watch out for yourself you know also be aware of somebody who may be um I would say a sister, a mother, um, somebody else's sister or mother. Just be aware of somebody who's going to basically try to get you to deal with, like, okay, say if your ex had a sister, right? They're going to have a sister try to reach out to you and be like, oh, give them a chance. They change, blah, blah, blah. But this person knows your mother or, you know, they will try to go through your mother to try to get get to you or they will probably try to use their mother to try to get to you okay just use your intuition at this time because you're gonna have people from lovers old family members old friends flings trying to come back and basically pull the wool over your eyes just to get back in your life and snake you take all that you've worked for because baby they see that you're you're making it and you're making yourself proud. Don't allow people to take your don't allow, allow people to take your kindness for weakness. Don't allow people to backstab you. Keep standing in your power and keep on putting down those rat traps for people who think that they can come in and knock you off your pedestal. Because these people from the past truly ain't what you thought they were. You don't even know who they are really. Because behind the scenes, they're a completely different person. A real player, honestly. That gets off on hurting you. When honestly, you just been giving. And they just been standing in your way with all that toxic shit. Breaking you down and making you feel less than. And keeping you broke. Because when you're in a mind state of loss, all you can experience is loss. Be aware of people trying to come back in your life. To distract you and destroy you. Because they see that you're now what? Stepping into your star status. These people are clowns, okay? And you're nothing like them. Be aware. You also got people behind the scenes over drinking over you because they're trying to erase the thought of you, the memory of you. Just be careful. Also be careful of whatever of people's food that you eat. You don't know who these people may know. So start using your intuition, okay? And stop doing, get over giving and doing favors for free. It don't benefit you. But in the future, as well as now, if you're currently dating somebody, it's nothing but marriage on the table for you, Capricorn. Long-term relationships, all that snake shit is in the past. 
you have literally entered a whole nother realm of possibilities. So that don't let people put you in third parties this year, this whole this this year going on, going forward. Don't accept nothing less than what you deserve. Because you don't want to have to keep rebuilding yourself. Okay? Okay, now. Let's get you some tea. What's the tea for Capricorn? Oh, this person who want to come back. You know, that person I said, they probably need a place to stay. They're homeless. Living, living couch to couch. Family with family, with friends. This person is also a liar as well. Yeah, they also see that you're out of their league, but they're non-committal, but they're going to try to come back in make it seem like they want to commit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I told you stop doing favors for free, you're being told to stop trying to be Superman and Superwoman and save people. These motherfuckers don't want to be saved. When it comes to somebody from the past, anybody from the past, choose not to deal with them or be their lover. They just want some attention. They just want some attention. And they're going to continue to sleep with people behind your back. Okay? Understand that. When you understand that and when you know that, you're not going to ever choose nobody from the past again. Anybody that give you past type energy, you're not going to even want to deal with them. You're not. You're not. Let's get you some angel messages and then close it out with a takeaway. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. <sighs> Also, you're being told to fight against your insecurities because you're gonna need to you're gonna need to believe in yourself because you have some creative endeavors that you are being forced to put out. You're not even you're not even like you're not even being like weighted on no more. Like you the universe is pushing you to be great. Pushing you to be great. As well as pushing you to start listening to your damn self. Your intuition is a superpower. Start listening, okay? It says tap into your inner wisdom and also start trusting your instincts. I'm just the messenger, man. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> now let's get you a takeaway. Give me some give me a takeaway message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to take away from this reading? What does Capricorn need to take away from this reading? What is Capricorn need to take away from this reading? What is Capricorn need to take away from this reading? Okay, so we have music, recognize, peace, and walk. Okay, walk. The simple, this is simple. This is a simply, damn y'all, I can't talk. <laughs> this is simply one of the best ways to release stress. Basically, you guys start working out. You do got a new lover coming. Don't you want to be sexy? It's sexy. Okay, I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say. <laughs> anyway, don't run or even walk very fast. Just walk and breathe deep from the abdomen, allowing your blood to course through your vein. Work out more. Mm -hmm. Peace. Release anything that doesn't serve you and anything that stresses you out. It is not for you. Okay. Okay. Turn off all electronics. This constant input of information causes anxiety and stress, but you can control that. Make this a daily 30-minute exercise. You're also being told, when I say you're being forced to be great, you may have to turn your phone off and start working on those projects that you've been wanting to work on. Take some time for you. Them people going to be there when you get back. But your life is a ticking time clock. You got to get it going before time runs out recognize recognize your strength recognize your gifts and put them out today try to recognize those events that trigger your negative feelings it's all about how you react recognize that you can change the way that you react once you identify what's triggering your negative thoughts release what doesn't serve you my love music go out this weekend shake your rump throw that dick around do what you got to do to uplift your spirits even if it is in the house, start playing music every day and just, just dance dance around like nobody's watching. Lift yourself up. Okay? All work and no play makes a really, really evil, really, really mean, really, really bitter Capricorn. Anyway, 
Music can transport you back into a time in your life. Reflect on a song and a series of songs from years ago that stirs up happy memories. Close your eyes, listen to these songs, and let those happy memories return to you. This was your message, Capricorn. I want to just tell y'all, be prepared for some shit. I'm just saying. But also be prepared to be swept off of your feet by somebody who is so romantic and so... Uh, I want to, I wouldn't say perfect, but baby, you're going to feel like they perfect. Just saying. Anyway, I want to thank you all for the love and support and the donations and all of the readings that y'all have been booking. Thank y'all. Y'all already know I be knowing. Y'all know I be seeing. But anyway, it's my birthday. So if you want to gift me and, you know, donate to your girl, thank y'all. Thank you. Anyway, I also want to say if you want to find me on social media or give me on a phone call for a personal reading, everything is in my description box. And I'll see y'all. Later. Mm.